Hello and welcome back to Breath of the Wild. My name is Wilbrain and previously we arrived in Hatino Village at a shrine. And it has this in it. Which means I have to tilt the thing and do a... a mouse trap style game. Oh my goodness. This must be very entertaining for you at home. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Yeah, that's not so bad. Just trying to tip it over the edge. Turns out the motion control is active. Oh. Uh, Imagine doing this if you were playing it on a bus or something. Ooh, there's a chest there. Come on, I am smarter than a gerbil. Right. Uh, I know what's going to happen here. Physics is going to happen. I need it to be going pretty fast. And it reaches the end there, yeah, and then I can tip it up. So that, and up. Too early. Oh. Hey. Watch a new game. Down we go. Wee! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> ah, damn it! Oh, I won't make you sit through that again. The game will make me do it, though. Done it! Nobody can say I cheated by turning the whole thing upside down and just rolling it over that way, because that would be, uh... Well, that would be cheating. Jobs are good. Now I'm going to go grab that chest. And it's probably containing something I can't carry, because I haven't found... Uh, your man with his... Maracas. I should probably track him down. I'm sure he told me where it went. I can't remember where it is, though. Oh, hell. I need to move it around so I can actually reach the chest. Ugh, that's so annoying. You think after finishing this twice before, I'd still remember something like this, but no. Right. Tilt, 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 that'll do. Not sure I'm getting back off it, but we'll worry about that in a moment. Good thing about having a handheld glider. You don't really need to worry about consequences related to falling very much. Yep. What is it, what is it, what is it? Is it the best thing ever? Is it worth all this palaver and trial? Link, are you going to open it or what? Phrenic bow. Concentrated fire. Concentrating before drawing the string bow will allow you to target distant enemies as easily as those nearby. And I don't have room for it. I know what that means. I shall get rid of this soldier's bow. There we go. Right. What does this do? Does that mean I can aim really... Whoa, it zoomed in quite a lot. Okay, that's good. I have a ranged weapon. I can snipe. To bear that in mind. I'm not keeping it equipped. Just in case I forget and break it. And then think, ooh, this situation's ideal for sniping when all I have is a different kind of bow entirely. Alright, give me the orb and let's get going through Hatino Village. It's been a while since I've done a quest, uh, a shrine. Yes, 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 resourcefulness, blah, blah, blah. Give. You all have interesting haircuts. They creep me out a little. Zombies. Holy loading screen, Batman. Huh, There's a troubling volcano over there. Anyway, I'm sure we're fine here. I mean, listen to the music. Hello, Clip Clop. Still alive, I see. Nice to meet you. Uh, I wonder if there's somewhere we can tie you up that's a bit more civilised. Although you seem quite happy here by the tree. Just nomming on whatever you can find there. Good horsey. Let's uh, see if there's an inn or somewhere we can park you. Ah, there's the map tower. 
Excellent. She'll have to head there soon. Oh, come on, Clip Clop. You just walk straight off the path there. Oh no, children are running towards us. Oh no, they're running away, that's fine. Hello, people. Try not to trample anyone's children to death, that's good. Right, what do we got? This looks kind of stableish. Yeah, it's perfect. Hello, child. Hey, hey, hey. Yes. It's in this one. Ba 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 Bolson. She can. Uh, no, I have not. Lame. I'll do it again. Watch carefully this time. Oh, I didn't ask you to do it again, mate. All right, I'll teach you, but you got to pay attention, okay? Ba 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 Bolson. Fa fa. Check in. Okay. Easy as pie, right? Remind me never to talk to children in this game. Come on. See that big pile of hay? That's all for you. Ah, it's because I, I love my horses and I don't neglect them. Hello, kitty cat. Is it time for your tea? I'm sure you can hear that on the microphone. She's loud as anything. She can almost see the bottom of her food bowl. I know. It's so sad. Hello, donkey. Oh, I do love donkeys. So gentle. How are you doing, mate? You don't look happy to own a donkey. Checking everyone out today, too. The check-in just never stops. Have I stayed at the Tun Poo Inn? I'm going to say yes. Makes no difference to me, but... I'm supposed to check out everyone who comes into town. Sounds weird. Your job is weird. Whatever it is you do. I know things have been peaceful recently, but the outside world is still pretty dangerous, yeah? So I gotta check and make sure if any beauties... I mean suspicious folks coming around here. Beauties. Huh. <sighs> if you're lucky enough to stay at the Tunpao Inn... Tunpu Inn. I don't know why I'm saying Tunpao. You'll see what I mean. Say hello to Prima for me if you do. Not that she even knows who I am. This is tough. I have to give her something. What kind of gift do you think Prima at the Tunpu Inn would want? Just take a guess. It's not for me, you understand. It's for my buddy's friend. A gift for my beloved. Um, I mean... It, Traditionally, it's flowers of some sort, you know? It's not that hard. See, work for you. Good day. Best place to rest up in all of Atino Village is Tunpu Inn. If you plan to stay, just talk to the clerk across the counter. Well, you're doing a better job of that other guy. Well, the door's closed. It's a nice building, though. Welcome. Hello. Welcome to Tunpu Inn. Regular is uh, 20, or if you're looking for more relaxing and restorative mind and body experience, you can have one of our extra soft downy beds for 40 rupees. Nah. Come back soon. Well, that was a fulfilling conversation. Oh, there's a dining area as well. It is an actual inn. Good. Although I think... This is kitchen slash dining area. Can I read any of these notices? No, I cannot. Fun fact, the um, font you see in the various Zelda games changes for some reason, but it's a direct translation from either English or Japanese. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the characters translate literally into English or Japanese words, depending on the game. And they make some sense if you can translate them, although usually they're such low definition you can't really tell. It might just say Laura Mipson or something lame like that. <clears throat> but some of them do actually say things. Wow, they do have a lot of beds up here. I wonder which one's the extra soft bed. That looks the same to me. Oh, 
not looking forward to staying here. It looks quite cosy. Although, actually, it doesn't look cosy at all. This just looks like um, an attic. <laughs> Still, it's dry. I'll take it. Another time, perhaps. What's through here? More beds. Ah, these look a bit more cosy. Wow, they do have a lot of beds here. They must have a lot of people coming through. See you later. It's quite early in the day to be going to sleep. Oh, they got a balcony. Oh, there's somebody up there. I think they just hiccuped. I thought this was like a storeroom or something. Hello. Hey there, brother. Brother. I would recognise a fellow traveller a country mile away. We share a unique bond, you and me. I've recently returned from both Goron City and Gerudo Town. How would you get into Gerudo Town? It's west of Atino Village, way out in the green Gerudo Desert. Right when I was about to make my way into Gerudo Town, the gate gatekeeper drove me off. It wasn't until later I heard they only let women in there. And had I known that beforehand, I wouldn't have trekked all the way across that stinking wasteland of a desert. But now I'm here wondering if I could have gotten in there, if I'd have fooled them into thinking I belonged. Not with that beard, mate. Although, if you wear a face mask like I did, I think they'd still notice. Bye. See ya, brother. The guy's got two bottles of wine on the go. And an ale. And his name is Wharton. I believe that's an old term that has something to do with the making of beer as well. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. We're not here to sightsee. Ooh, there's a mushroom there. Uh, <laughs> what did the mission actually say? I've not read it in literally years. Uh, but, but... According to Impa, the Sheikah slate that Zelda left to guide you is incomplete. Okay. The director, director at Hatino Ancient Tech Lab in Hatino Village may know a way to restore the Sheikah slate's missing components. Use the map to find the location of the lab and its director. Well, I don't really have a map. But the map marker is saying go directly east. So, the sun's over there, it's this way. <laughs> Lots of houses. It's a very populated village. And apparently we're entering Hatino Village again. I'm not sure what's going on with that. They do a lot of milling. Oh, look at that lone tree up by itself. Oh, another one. Isn't that odd? Hmm. I feel like I should have brought the horse up here. You sitting down for a nap? Hello, cat. You're not going to stop, are you? No. What a nice breeze. It doesn't carry the tang of salt on it, though. What? Oops, I forgot we just met. I was reminiscing about my hometown of Luralin Village by the sea. The view in the air are different here in Hatino Village, but this is where my wonderful husband calls home. I count myself lucky to be able to live and work, lied, work alongside such a wonderful, loving man. Luralin? It's a small vin fishing village. It's a small fishing community far to the south. I lived there before I moved here with my new husband. We had to cross the bridge of Hylia to get there, weighted down with everything I couldn't bear to leave behind. Thinking back on it, it's a wonder either of us survived the trip. Ralira. Okay. Laurelin Village. Interesting. Ooh, there's a signpost there. Left, Tino Pasture. Right, Tech Lab. We're going to the Tech Lab. Oh, a cricket. Oh. Oh, there's a child. What are you doing, child? There aren't any girls around here. Was Karen lying to us? Sephiro, have you seen the girl? The girl, she won't come out. 
What are you two talking about? What are you playing at? Children. That's so annoying. Well, if that's not a lab, I don't know what is. But what's the other way? Hatino Beach. I don't like beaches. It's just a place of suffering as far as I'm concerned. I sense a Korok nearby. What does this say? Keep out, danger. Don't be stupid. No soliciting. Okay, I'm not selling anything. I'm here for tech support. What's this one say? Mine the lanterns. Mining the lantern. There's another one up ahead. Enter at your own risk. I've entered pretty much everywhere at my own risk. What's this one say? If the flame is blue, the furnace is hot. Do not touch. I see no flame. Well, there's a new music track playing now. Hello, anyone home? What the hell are you supposed to be? Hello. This is the Hatino Ancient Tech Lab. Do you have some business with the director? Yes, I do, actually. The director is in the back. A terribly busy person, that one. Please try to keep it brief. You're an odd-looking one, aren't you? Hmm. Hello. I imagine you've never seen so many books in one place. Pretty incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Nice collection. We've gathered all of Hyrule's known literature on ancient civilizations here. As for the actual number of books, well... Hmm? Is that... That thing on your waist? Is that a Sheikah? There's no mistaking it. That's a real Sheikah slate, isn't it? I've never actually seen one in person. <coughs> if you could just show me the runes on it, I'd be most appreciative. That's quite dangerous. Stasis, Magnesis, yes, yes. Remote Bomb and Cryonis. What else? Let's see. That's it for runes, but, hmm, strange. Doesn't seem like you have the basic runes. I don't understand why they're missing. There must be some reason. Where are my manners? I nearly forgot to introduce myself. My name is Simon. You are? Link, right? How do you know I'm Link? Lady Impa caught me up to speed. Ah. You see, we were told a young man holding a Sheikah slate will appear, and you must do all you can to help him. He will be the hope that awakens from the slumber of restoration. His name will be Link. Oh dear, I forgot to tell you something very important. <sighs> director, listen, Miss Director, this is the real Sheikah slate. Director, I thought you were the director. Oh, that's right. I haven't introduced our director. Miss Pura happens to be right over there. As the Hatino Ancient Tech Lab director, Miss Pura is the world's foremost authority on ancient Hyrule culture. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I have the utmost respect for Miss Pura and all she's accomplished. I'm honoured to be her assistant. On that note, Link... You see, the director may look like a young girl, but, well, maybe it's not my place to tell you these things. You should talk to Miss Pura herself. Ugh, it's going to be talking to children all day. Are you... Right, what's going on here? Hey, hey, are you surprised? No, I'm annoyed. The director of this laboratory is not Simon, it's me. Snappity snap. Anyway, Linky, do you remember any dreams from your time in the slumber of restoration? You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last hundred years, but something must have happened in all that time. Well, no matter. I'm just happy you're still in one piece. Linky, what's with that look? You still remember me, right? Uh, no. Really? I'm so shocked. I don't, I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover from this. Even though a hundred years ago I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Ganon fatally wounded you, even though I was the one who put you safely into the slumber of restoration, despite all that you still don't remember me? Nope. 
Hmm, as expected. After hundred years in the slumber of restoration, subject has lost all memories. Noted. Oh, sorry. I have a habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? It's a quirk. Anywho, do you have any questions for me? You're a child. How rude. Hmm, perhaps not rude at all. I suppose it's just actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. I mean, I'm not sure if logic comes into it, mate. The truth is, I looked this way because of a failed experiment. What was the optimal outcome? I say fail, but in some ways it was a success. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs. But the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading on it. Got it. Don't read the diary. Anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Here you are, after a hundred years. Here to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength with every passing moment. Wait, what? <laughs> and to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda. That is, if you've got the courage to try. And to help the one true hero, I, the one and only Pura, will restore the basic functions missing from the Sheikah Slate. And what do you say to that? Uh, thanks. I knew you'd say that. Alright, first, I need you to run an errand for me. Yeah. What's with that look on your face? That's boredom, mate. These things happen a lot. You didn't think I'd fix your seeker slate for free, did you? I did. Hmm. Post slumber restoration, subject is played by presumptuous tendencies. Noted. Let me explain what this errand entails. You know the unlit furnace on the wall just outside this lab? Could you please bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace in town? Oh, and also use it to light our furnace. The sweet little guidance stone will start working once you do that, allowing us to restore your missing runes. Oh, so it's a necessary task, I'm not just fetching water. Fine. Huh. I wonder if young women these days still say things like sweet and little. Oh well, I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. Okay then, I'm counting on you for that blue flame. Blue flame. Got it. Whew. Wait, was that a flammable object? Aha. Oh, God. I need this. I need something flammable. This farming hoe is going out the door. Okay, it's bouncing off the door and falling back in here. Bye. Right, blue flame torch, blue flame and torch, blue flame and torch. Oh, it is quite a lovely view and very bright. I do not mind looking at that for a while. Anyway, let's uh, follow these lamps back to the start. I'm looking for something. Ah, there's a big blue thing. I see it. It just started glowing. Excellent. That's where we're going. Ooh, some cows down there. And a doggo. And another doggo. Oh, I wish I was down there. I love dogs. Ooh, there's some rice fields. Nice. And a never-ending supply of water. Excellent. Well, if I touch this and a great big horrible monster comes out, I'm going to be very upset. There we go. Flame. Right. Torch. Uh, lantern. There you go. Lit one. There's another one. Okay. This looks pretty straightforward. I always miss one of these. Don't know how because they're just so close together you can't possibly miss one, but I I find a way, I always do. There's another one. Nobody getting away. Ooh, frogs. And fish. There's another one. Okay. And another one. There we go. There's one over there. I will set fire to you, child, if you start talking to me again. I don't think I won't. I won't kill you, I'll throw you in the river, but you won't enjoy any of it. Right, I think the next one's fairly far away. 
Oh, is it your bedtime? Boo-hoo, I can stay up all night. It's giving off a lot of sparks, this thing. Oh, that was quite a big gap, wasn't it? There we go. I remember this one. The lady told us all about her hometown for some reason and forgot to introduce herself. And now she just sat there singing while it's getting gradually colder. I could run faster, I could, but I put the flame out, so I've thought of that. Or could I take a potion that'll make me go faster? I seem to be collecting those. Aha! Excellent. There we go. Now I can run, well, jog a little bit faster. Good. Probably should have done that earlier. Almost never use hasty potions of any kind. I don't really see the point. Look at him go. I mean, we don't really need the shield. There we go, that's a bit better. Feel, it seems strange not swinging your arm when you're running like this. Imagine it'd get quite painful after a while holding the shield. Right, I think that's the last one. Yeah. And it's officially night time. I'm going to the inn. Once I've done this. And the cat's back to remind me that she hasn't been fed yet. There we go. Ooh, what point. Fantastic. I'll have to walk again. Done the thing. Who stole my hoe? Right, there you go. Job's done. Oh, yawn. Thank you so much. Now then, take a look over there. The guidance stone must be starting to react. There's nothing mysterious about it. This is pure science. My sweet little guidance stone, you sure know how to make this old researcher's heart flutter. Well then, let's go ahead and restore the Sheikah, Sloan, Sheikah Slate runes for you. Give me a nice snap. Go on, no time to be shy about it. Snap? Hmm, that was pretty weak, but that's okay. Okay then, the Sheikah Slate Repair underway. Guidance Stone Lock removed. Now, let's do this thing. Sheikah Slate authenticated. Camera, Hyrule Compendium and Album Missing Files confirmed. Starting repair. You better not upgrade me to Windows 11. Damn you to hell if you do. Camera. Instantly render a visible image into a picture. A rune has been added. Ooh. Pictures. Of places. Hmm. And a compendium that's empty. Fantastic. That's useful. Repair complete. That. Ooh. That's far too close. And it's done. So it's all fixed up now. Let's see here. Which one is it? Camera, compendium, album. Yep, looks good. So, I know this is sudden, but hear me out. Take a picture of me with a camera. Oh, and don't forget to let me see it. <sighs> hey, how's the picture taking going? Did you get a cute picture of me with a camera? I, I, I took one, yes. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Let me see, let me see. There you are, you're a blue spot. Hmm, my, who is this beautiful young creature? <sighs> huh? Oh, I guess that's my cue. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. It wasn't on purpose. Hmm. 
Uh, it's not just a pretty girl in these images. Yes, there are also some old landscape photos stored in the album. I know Princess Zelda made frequent use of the camera feature, but this... Hey Linky, it dawns on me that you were Princess Zelda's appointed knight, which means... There's a strong possibility that you accompanied her to all the places where these pictures were taken. Huh. Alright, the lost memory thing could prove to be troublesome. But don't lose hope. Just means these pictures could be the missing piece to help you restore your lost memories. If my hunch is correct, I suggest you check in with Impa. She knows more about Princess Zelda than even I do. Oh yeah, there's just one more thing I need from you. You don't have to worry about this until after you see see Impa, but I want you to bring me back some ancient material. I've been hoarding those things for months. Bring them out to me or Robbie at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Akala Ancient Tech Lab? I've not been there yet. As if my joy weren't enough, if you bring us enough ancient materials, we will give you something good as a reward. Alright, let's do this. I mean, I've got some. Hey, something on your mind? Uh, you said something about something good. Aha! I'm glad you asked. If you bring me ancient materials, I'll power up your runes. You'll need three ancient screws to power up your sensor, three ancient shafts to power up your bombs, three ancient cores to power up stasis, and if we're on the same page, stop staring at me, hurry up and bring me some ancient materials. Um, here you go. I think you should see Impa first, but if you're saying you already have ancient materials, then why don't you go ahead and power up your Sheikah Slate? Here you go. Uh, I'm in. So, which one do you want to power up? More bombs! <laughs> Remote bomb power up time. You'll need three ancient shafts. There you go. Here I go. Oh, snap again. Hmm. I was expecting more enthusiasm, but whatever. Okay then, remote bomb upgrade underway. Guidance zone lock removed. Let's do it. Oh, we have to go through this animation every time. I mean, I like it, but I'm bored of it already. Anyway. How are we doing? I think that's enough for one episode. If you have been, thank you for watching. I've been Wolverine. This has been Breath of the Wild. Tati bye.